What's up guys, Koma here. Today, a bit of a different video. I want to go over some Call of Duty Black Ops 6 stuff because I've been grinding out zombies um, in the fashion of camo grinding. So I've been slowly but surely grinding out the Nebula camos. Um, and I kind of want to give some tips and show you guys some tricks that you could do to um, not only improve the rate that you're actually grinding out these camos at but also just give you some like quality of life tips and show you how you know if you've never done this grind before or you just feel like you're missing something and you really want to improve um your rates of your finishing camos um now whenever i was doing gold and most of the footage that you'll be seeing as uh like you know me playing in the game is actually whenever i was actually still doing the gold camos um as of right now all of my guns are completely gold so the frost line the svd um the nine millimeter like every weapon is gold and i've been slowly chipping away at opal now let's start at the most simplest thing you want to make sure that if you have your weapon leveled a little bit and don't feel too bad if you don't have this, but make sure you apply a suppressor because it says right there, chance to drop extra salvage. This is important because as you start playing the game, you're going to need salvage to actually level up the rarity of your gun, thus increasing your damage. Now, if you are doing something, say, like one of the melee weapons or if you're doing the launchers, don't like fear too much. Um, a good way to do this, especially on Liberty Falls, is that if you go over to... You, there's two weapons you can buy really early in Liberty Falls, and one of them is the DM-10. So the cool thing here is you can put a suppressor on it, and then when you hover over it in this menu, down at the bottom for controller, it's left trigger, but you can click on it for uh, M and K, I believe. I don't know. Uh, it is one. Um, but you can put it as a zombie build, so when purchased off the wall, will be the exact same build that you have made in your gunsmith, thus making it able to be used with a suppressor. And the same can be said as the GS45, which is the Mustang and Sally, or Sally in this game, um, which you can also buy off the wall, and you can also put a suppressor on it. So those are the two weapons that you can put a suppressor on and buy very early game. Going on to the over to the other thing I want to talk about really quickly is um, specifically Deadshot. Deadshot is one of the most important perks that you are going to need throughout your camo grind. Specifically because every weapon besides launchers and the melee weapons are going to need headshots and deadshot daiquiri improves your ads precision and increases your critical damage whenever you shoot a zombie to the head also getting dead first and dead break are two important mods dead first deals double critical damage if the enemy is at full health meaning that you're going to be doing double what you normally do as long as they're at full health and dead break makes it where you can shred through armor very quickly um other things here is reduce hit by spread if you so need that. So, uh, other perks here that you're going to need to focus on is Melee Macchiato. Now, there's a few other things you could do here, but this is really what I use. I use Espresso and I use Stick and Move. Therefore, if I get a melee hit, um, I actually backpedal faster. Um, therefore, I can go in and out of kills relatively quickly. Um, but you can also run Vampiric extraction instead of espresso where it gives you health on uh um, melee attacks so it's not only just melee kills it's melee attacks um and then ammo mods uh for later down the line if you get to nebula and when you get to nebula uh big game and haste are two big players here uh simply because with big game you're going to be able to go on to liberty falls or even Terminus. Terminus would make it technically faster, but uh, on Liberty Falls, you can run big game and haste to basically one-shot uh, abominations and amalgams. Uh, on top of that, if you were to go to Elemental Pop and put on Citrus Focus and Chillberry, 
It reduces the cooldown even more thanks to Chillberry and Citrus Focus makes it where only that ammo mod will be actually be applied if Elemental Pop is active. So keep that in mind. That's something useful for later down the road. Um, whatever you want to use here for your field upgrade is completely up to you. Um, I use Frenzy Fire and Extension on my Frenzy Guard. Retribution is extremely good too. Um, but sometimes you can kill zombies and steal kills, so I wouldn't necessarily recommend it unless you absolutely want to. And Aether Shroud, Void Sheath. Void Sheath is the most important thing here because you're going to need it for the afterlife camo, uh, specifically on uh, melee weapons. It's incredibly useful. Um, you're going to throw down a decoy, Aether Shroud, and basically kill as many zombies as you can with a knife uh, for the afterlife camo. And of course, run in extinction, so you can just use it forever. Very long time. Um, so the next few things I want to talk about uh, is specifically tracking your camos. Um, now, I have a website here up called uh, Zombicus, I think is how you pronounce it. Um, so this is a website that helps you track multiple different things, um, such as drop cycle and stuff like that. Uh, but the one thing I want to focus on here is actually camo tracker now when you click on camo tracker um there's multiple games here uh it seems like they've been at this for a little while now since bo4 which is cool i didn't even know this website existed until recently um and you can go to black ops 6 and it'll actually give you a tracker for l3 different um uh completionist camos or mastery as they call them but we want to focus on zombies so you click on zombies and you can see every single one of your guns that you've done so far um so as you can see i have every single one of my guns tracked so i have all my ars opal and everything you know everything's completely tracked all my smgs are opal and you can see down at the bar it says 418 as that is how much i have left uh you know that uh i don't know the exact number right off the top of my head but you can see that i'm relatively close to actually finishing this i'm like 83 percent done now the cool thing about this, uh, additionally, uh, if you are a YouTuber or a streamer and you're getting into this, um, you can go up here at the top where it says Wedget, and you can actually get your Wedget configuration. Um, so again, this link that is, okay, I'm going to probably have to blur it. Um, the link is completely unique to you, so don't share it. I highly don't recommend sharing it, um, but you can adjust the position. Um, you can check which mode is which so if you're you know doing zombies you're specifically doing zombies um, and then you can adjust how many intervals uh, it shows up unfortunately you can't go less than two minutes I kind of wish you could more periodically show it up and uh, I don't know if you guys have noticed up at the top corner of my screen I have also been having the budget pop up here and there so um, if you guys have noticed that that's what this is. This is what the wedget is. Um, so, and you can, you know, adjust how how much, how long in duration uh, you want to, you know, adjust it. So I can set it up to ten seconds, and um, you know, copy my link, and thus come over into OBS. And just for the sake of, you know, um, convenience, I'm going to replace this URL. I press enter. Um, and it should, can I refresh it to show it? There we go. So it's right there. You can see it now. So you can see I'm like 84% done. I'm really close to being done. Um, I don't know how much longer it's going to take me, but you know, um, you'll know if I make a video or something about it. So, um, yeah, make sure you, you know, YouTubers, streamers pick up this wedget, um, so you can actually, you know, see where your progress is and, you know, so your also your chat doesn't you know completely keep spamming you. How close? How far? How many of you have done? You know, so they they kind of know. So, going on with my other little miscellaneous tips, I'm gonna go over to my little thing. I'm sorry if I'm flashbanging anybody, but these are kind of my notes. <laughs> I'm sure at this point I'll have gameplay up, so I'm not too worried about it. Um. But Easter eggs. So there are two Easter eggs on uh, the Liberty Falls map that are heavily important and are very easy to set up. Uh, specifically being the Deadshot Easter egg. 
Uh, so at this point, I would highly recommend picking up the L, uh, the LR762 from the wall uh, near the uh, the fuck the Hill Street, and then going over into the graveyard, back edge of the graveyard, and zooming in into these small little cans that sit on this fence. Shoot all five, and if you miss, they'll despawn, and then you'll have to retry the next round. But if you hit all five, you get a free Deadshot perk. Again, as I mentioned earlier, Deadshot is very important. Um, it increases your aim assist if you're on controller to do headshots. But if you're on MK, it'll just increase your critical. Um, so there is that. Additionally, up near the church on its little tower, there is, I think it's a zombie head. I can't really tell what it is. But if you throw any sort of explosive, I highly recommend a concussion, a syntax. Um, you can cook a frag and toss it up there. Just be very careful. And you can really just pop this. Uh, it'll cause zombies to rain down. And if you do it in specific rounds, it'll increase. It'll upgrade. But it can drop a completely unique um, aether tool. Uh, I use this in very early rounds, therefore I can get the gold rarity completely for free and use whatever salvage I have to upgrade to the blue rarity and pack a punch and the whole nine yards. So, here is a very big one, Sam Trials. Sam Trials, while on the surface, seem just like trials that you do in the middle of the rounds, um, this is not what you actually want to save them for. Yes, you can do them from upgrades, but the way that I've really used them is I save a zombie at the very end of a round and then start a trial what this essentially does is it adds zombies into your round um, and these zombies are always never armored so if you're round 20 and you start a uh, sam trial these zombies will never be armored and there are infinite of them until the time of the trial ends so this is nice because sometimes there are trials that last like a minute 40 seconds and you can crack out at least 70 headshots if you're extremely lucky on spawns and where you are. So Sam Trials are one of the biggest things to optimize your camera progression. Because if you don't, then you're really just losing out. So make sure you are doing Sam Trials. So um, next is the, just the jet gun. Um, now, this is something I wouldn't recommend doing while you're doing the gold camos, but I would recommend doing them as you're doing the opal camos. Specifically because when you're playing through for the opal camos, you're only going to be killing manglers with your primary gun. So you build the jet gun, or you use Wonder Bar. Uh, so if y'all don't know what Wonder Bar is. Okay, so Wonder Bar uh, is a gobble gun. So if you go here and go ultra wonder bar uh basically it says the next weapon from the mystery box will be a wonder weapon now it can be the ray gun yes so be very careful using a wonder bar unless you're wanting to gamble on this and this is a very rare gobble gum i only have one after my runs of the easter eggs so do be careful using this um a few other little miscellaneous tips on gobble gums killjoy is great anywhere but here gets you out of tight situations temporal's gift actually extends the next time-based power up you pick up to one minute total cashback free max ammo shields up more armor some stuff here is really good uh, epic soda fountain great uh free fire great on explosives like really good on explosives and who's keeping score uh double points um basically what i do is i get a who's keeping score and i pick up temporal gift pop temporal gift pop double pop double points get a minute long you know score so boom done so with that all mentioned that is basically everything i have to really tell you um that is pretty much all my tips uh eventually you know i'm it's a very like little late at night right now so i'm getting ready to go to bed but i'm gonna start working on i think the melee weapons tomorrow and uh hopefully get this video out there because 
Uh, from what I've heard, not a lot of people are talking about the Sam Trial stuff, and I think it's very important. So I'm going to try to get this video out as quick as I possibly can, you know. So uh, if you guys found it, you know, informational or useful or anything of the sorts, um, do let me know if y'all want videos me doing my grind or, you know, if you guys possibly want to see me stream my grind too, I can do that. Um, I've streamed once before, but I just kind of found, you know, sitting there silent, you know, doing my camos is a bit, you know, boring in my eyes. So that's why I never really streamed it. Um, but with that being said, um, let me know if there's, you know, you have questions. I will gladly answer them. Uh, and yeah, subscribe if you want to see more, like, you know, etc. And uh, I will talk to y'all next time. Adios.